Welcome to the Micro CT video. I am Michelle Plew. I work in Duke University's Shared Materials Instrumentation Facility. Microcomputed tomography, or micro CT, allows us to see what a sample looks like both inside and out. We use x-rays to visualize differences in the density within a sample to produce a detailed 3D image or model. The x-rays do not damage or alter the sample. The micro CT is the same as a hospital CT or CAT scanner, but this technique can achieve much higher resolution on small samples. First, let's talk a little about safety. The micro CT is an x-ray generating instrument, and x-rays can be dangerous, so the micro CT is shielded with lead. The lead shielding is also in this window so we can view our sample safely. An additional safety feature is that the x-rays cannot be produced when the door is open. Finally, x-ray safety training is required and regular safety inspections are made of the equipment. Because of all the safety features and protocols, no extra protective equipment needs to be worn when operating the micro CT. Now, Let's discuss the operation of the micro CT. We will be using a USB drive as our sample. The micro CT generates x-rays by shooting electrons through a vacuum and hitting a tungsten target. These electrons interact with the tungsten to produce a cone of x-rays that shoot out toward the sample sitting on a central stage. When the x-rays reach the sample, some are absorbed by the sample, and some are transmitted through to a detector. The detector is like a digital version of film and sends the image information directly to the computer monitor. Darker areas in the image are where x-rays are absorbed by the dense areas of the sample. Brighter areas indicate regions where the x-rays pass through the sample. However, in the final reconstructed cross-section images of micro CT data, this black and white color pattern is flipped so that white areas represent dense and black areas represent less dense material. This is much like what you would see in an x-ray at a doctor's office. Size is a limiting factor for the micro CT. Samples wider than 25 centimeters will most likely be too big to fit in the entire field of view of the CT scan. The stage that holds the samples in the micro CT spins around while the rest of the equipment stays stationary. This is unlike a CT scanner in a doctor's office where the machine wraps around a patient. Because the stage spins, everything needs to be carefully positioned in order to stay in the field of view. A sample positioned close to the origin of the x-rays, or target, will have a better image resolution. Three to five microns is the maximum resolution possible by our micro CT. Smaller samples allow for scans of much higher resolution as they are able to be positioned closer to the target. This is comparable to shadows on a wall. The closer an object is to a light source, the more magnified it will appear on the wall. Once we have a sample positioned on the stage, we can go into the software to adjust the X-ray energy, the exposure time, and the sensitivity of the signal to get the best image possible. Thank you for joining me for this video on the basics of micro CT imaging. 